Mike. All right, thank you so much, Taylor. So each year, the McGeorge School of Law conducts its lecture series to dissect some issues facing Northern California's. And this year, its topic is electoral integrity. And this morning, we're joined by Aaron O'Neill, the director of the Capital Center for Law and Policy at McGeorge. Thank you so much for joining us. Really such a timely topic. Often these are as Certainly, well. Certainly, yes. Thank you so much for having me. It's great yeah. to be here and to see you again, Mike. Yeah. We are hosting this year our annual Mike Belote Capital Center Lecture Series. Mike Belote is our in, uh, a McGeorge alum, a lobbyist here in town who created an endowment that allows us to present a public policy timely topic discussion each year. We attempt to present the issues through a multidisciplinary, multifaceted perspective. Sure. And this year is actually McGeorge's 100th anniversary oh, of being happy here. birthday. Thank you. Being <laughs> Here in Sacramento so we wanted to do something very special and particularly timely and the presidential election 2024 Can't I don't get think more there's... timely than that yes. no yes. so election integrity what was it about that specifically that you said we got to get this will be a very interesting topic sure I think we have seen an unprecedented level of examination of not just the candidates which is typical but the electoral process itself this year right questions sure. about the integrity of the process fair fair elections being held voter access all kinds of things and so one of the things that we think about is how can we serve the public by serving an educational function in the community. So there's obviously a lot of litigation going on this year, which is unprecedented, involving one of the presidential nominees. Um, various states have passed measures that have restricted, to some extent, voter access. So we wanted to kind of take a deep dive into that and help community members, uh, the capital community, our alums, and students understand better what's going on with that process and what it means for democracy going forward. And really, there might not be a better opportunity than to listen to such a distinguished panel, a great panel. I mean you're going to be able to hear some ideas coming from all sectors yes so our panelists were very excited this evening we'll be joined by Noah Bookbinder who yeah. is the president and CEO of crew citizens for responsibility and ethics in Washington they are the organization that spearheaded the Colorado ballot litigation that was joined by a number of other states plaintiffs about whether or not former President Trump could be on the ballot based on 14th Amendment issues um, we are joined by Jasmine Singh, who's Democracy Counsel for the Brennan Center for Justice at NYU Law School, which is a public policy think tank focused on elections and uh, governance law. And then we'll also be joined by Professor Justin Levitt, who is currently visiting at UCLA Law School, but he is with Loyal Marymount Law School, and he was a senior policy advisor in the Biden administration around democracy and voting rights. Wow. And our, our moderator this evening is our associate dean, Mary Beth Moylan, who teaches in our capital lawyering concentration. She teaches is a, an election law course and a course on the California initiative process. Talk about experience. Yes. That is yes. such a great panel. And you see some details there right now. Uh, tonight, 5.30 to 7, this is at the Citizen Hotel Metropolitan Terrace Room. And again, the bottom line right there. It's yes, a free we'll have time for Q&A and it's a free event. We would love to see folks there. Erin, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for Always having me. Always great having you. Appreciate it very much. All right, Brandy, back to you. Mike, thank you.